Hey guys, so I am so excited to bring you today's video. This has been something I've been wanting to do for a while. And as you can tell by the title, we are going to be looking at a very realistic week with curly hair. In the comments below, I wanna hear how many times you guys wash your hair per week, especially in the summer. Just be curious to know. All right, that's enough of that. Let's get into the video. Good morning, guys. So it is now Monday morning and uh, I have washed my hair for shampoo. I used the Kin Blue Shampoo and then I just went in with, um, what conditioner did I use? Oh, like the Garnier Minute Mask, but I literally just like left it on for a minute. I'll show you guys the products. I would offer to get them right now, but I'm just too lazy. So today, like I said, was a hair wash day. So I'm trying two different things actually. I took out some rose in my Denman brush. So now I only have one, two, three, four, five, five rows of bristles so i made it so every other was missing i'm gonna see how i like that also i'm going to be trying the kristen s sea salt air dry mousse on a curlier style as opposed to like my normal way that i use it um trying to uh get my hair to be more wavy the reason i want to try it is because i do like the way it makes my hair like feel like it doesn't dry it out at all so i figured it could be promising. First, I'm going to take a little bit of the Sun Bum 3-in-1 leave-in. And I do want to wet my hair just a little bit more. So I do have a video on this actual technique, so I will link that for you guys. So we put the product in our hair and now I'm just gonna wait for it to air dry. Should I pop it or something? Nah, I won't. Maybe I will. So I'll leave this in anywhere from like 15 to 30 minutes and then let it continue to air dry while my hair is down. So I will see you guys soon. So just a little quick hair update. This product does a really good job at enhancing your natural texture. And it all, I also feel like volume is decent for me not like actually shaking my hair out. I left the house and my hair was like still a little wet. So I didn't want to like fluff it out or anything. But I mean, it's, I think it still looks pretty good. I just, I don't think the hold is going to be great with this product, but we can deal with that tomorrow when we refresh. I don't think I'm going to do anything else to this today. I'm not even gonna like fluff it out or anything. All right, that's enough rambling. I'll check back in with you guys later. Oh, also, can we see how much my hair is lightened? I mean, it's nothing crazy, but I have lighter pieces. Good morning. It is Tuesday. Ate something. Um, so tired. When I sleep, I put my hair in like a little pineapple like this. I'll show you guys how I do it since I totally forgot to pop on here last night. I basically just gather all of my hair right at like the front here. Just take like a scrunchie, pass it through once, twice, bam. I am going to work out right now so um, when I come back in a little bit, I will show you guys how I refresh my hair post-workout. If we're being honest, I'm going to try to do more of like a toning workout so I don't sweat a lot because this is only second day hair. So I'm not trying to like ruin it yet. As I get a little bit later into the week, I'll start to incorporate like more hit and sweatier workouts. So when I work out, since I'm not going to be like jumping and bouncing around a lot, I'll probably just leave it 
in a style like this. So after I'm done with my workout, I'll come back and I'll show you how I refresh. All right, so here we are, post-workout hair. Yeah, I obviously like to keep it very, okay, what am I doing? I like to keep it very right under the fan. So hot in this house and you have to like turn all these things off so you can hear me speak. Maybe if you want to, I don't know. What was I gonna say? Okay, yeah, so this is post-workout hair. I like to keep it loose. I don't like to do anything too tight. The product I used yesterday, as I mentioned before, it doesn't have like, good hold really. So I'm going to get in the shower. I'm going to put my hair back up loosely again because we want the steam from the shower to kind of get into our hair. That for me um, really helps with my curl reactivation. So that's like my first step. I'll see what the steam from the shower can do. And then if that doesn't do enough, um, we can just like re-wet our hair a little bit. Before I get out of the shower, I like to make sure my hands are dry. And I just like to take my hair down and maybe some of that warmth get into my hair while it's down. All right, so I am dressed and I have been debating what I'm going to do with my hair. I don't want the fact that I'm filming to like stop me from doing what I normally would do because then what is the point of that? So I was thinking like, oh, like I kind of want to refresh my hair, but it would really just be for the video purpose because if we're being honest, I think my hair looks fine. So what I am going to do is actually just use a little bit of this new hair oil that I bought from Sephora. I had never heard of this line before. It's called Bread. Now it does cater to, it says specifically types 3A to 4C. Hmm, it smells like uh, candy almost. Smells good the first time I'm using this so let's see I think I put a little bit too much in my hands but that's okay so we'll just use this to help with a little bit of frizz get a little bit of shine back in the hair and that's all I'm gonna do with my hair today we're just gonna leave it here and head out for the day Hello guys, so it is Wednesday morning. You just saw me do a little bit of a HIT workout. This is what my third day hair looks like without being refreshed at all. Cause remember we only added like some oil to our hair yesterday. We didn't really do much in the way of actually refreshing our curls. After a really sweaty workout like this, I like to take my hair down and just let like my scalp breathe because that's obviously where like most of the sweat has collected. So I'm just gonna wait like 10 minutes, give my scalp a chance to dry, then I'll hop in the shower and we will try to do something with this hair. Hey guys, so there was a slight change in plans. I ended up um, like hopping in the shower really quick and then throwing on my bathing suit and sitting outside and stuff and reading. So I didn't actually do anything with my hair today. Uh, since I am going to be sitting outside and like sweating even more i will probably end up either washing my hair tonight or tomorrow but yeah i just wanted to update you guys and let you know uh yeah this is my day three hairstyle it's great love it good morning guys it is now thursday morning and last night I showed like a little clip of the Amika 
sorry, it's, I have not had coffee and I like literally just woke up. The Amika cleansing conditioner. So basically I only did that because I felt like I just needed to like clean my scalp and just get like the grossness off of there. I didn't feel like going through a whole thing with my hair. So after um, my shower, I just wrapped my hair up in a towel, let it dry for a bit and then threw up threw it up in a bun. I did not do any sort of like detangling, no product, nothing. I didn't even use like an actual conditioner in my hair. I just took it out of the bun like 10 minutes ago. My hair is still a little damp from last night and I'm thinking to restyle it. I'll probably have to dampen it again, but I'm just not ready to do that yet because I need coffee and I need to get my life together. Hey guys, I'm back. I have showered. I ended up working out. Let's see what we can do from here. So since I did work out and it was kind of a sweaty workout, I like to use the Shea Moisture Purifying and Hydrating Buildup Blaster. This gets rid of oils at the scalp. So make sure this is nice and incorporated because the charcoal will tend to settle at the bottom. And then little tip, I take it on a cotton round and then I will just like pat this right into my scalp. It really does make my scalp just feel a lot more clean. So I'm just going to try to reach as much as like my scalp as possible. Even doing it along the back of my neck, hairline here. All right, wonderful. Now we can go on to the actual refreshing. So I like to section my hair off for this and I'm going to wet my hair. Then I'm going to take my Curlsmith Moisture Memory Reactivator. What is this problem? What's going on? Change of plans. All right, you don't need a lot of this, so like, it's going to smooth that over. And we're gonna do that for each section. When wetting your hair, you really just wanna make sure that it's wet enough that you're not seeing any frizz. So it doesn't have to be soaked, but I want it to be decently wet. So I do want to add a mousse because it is so, so humid out today. I do need a little bit of hold. There are two that I really like. I love the r and Co. Aircraft Pomade Mousse. I also love the Amica Plus Size Mousse. Today I'm going to go in with the r and Co. one. So I'm going to take a nice amount of it. All right. Well, my floor is going to take a nice amount of that. Same thing. I'm going to just glide this over the hair, but we are going to do a little bit of scrunching with this. All right, going to take a little bit more of this, just a touch, like just a little bit. Just working this into my scalp for some added volume. I do have a feeling my hair will end up at some point today though, because it is very hot and very humid. Hey guys, so it's actually Saturday morning. Yesterday, which is Friday, um, I did not do anything to my hair. So I'm just gonna combine yesterday and today because yesterday my hair stayed up like this all day. Didn't even leave the house or like do anything. So I like, don't wanna wash my hair cause it's just so hot out and disgusting. And <sighs> so I think I'm just going to put my hair up for the day. Not you. 
I'm sorry that I'm all up in my own head. I'm sorry that we never go to bed. I'm sorry that we're driving a little too fast. But wouldn't you? All we do is cruise around, trying to find another town to burn to the ground. Trying to find a street that we haven't seen. Looking for some kind of meaning in the little things that the night brings. We never really gotta be ourselves. So now we're trying to find more ways to rebel. With a foot on the pedal, eyes to the sky. We're gonna fuck it up tonight. I'm sorry that you're not who you want us to be. I'm sorry that we never got a degree. I'm sorry that I'm always feeling me and not you. I'm sorry that I'm all in my own head. I'm sorry that we never go to bed. I'm sorry that we're driving a little too fast. Yes, I feel like so much cleaner and better. So all I did obviously when I got out of the shower is just put my hair in a towel. I didn't put any product in it. Oh, the sunburn is not it. I'm just going to let my hair be, let it air dry. It's been through a lot with the sun and the water today. I did a deep conditioning treatment earlier, so I'm just gonna let it chill. So that is where I think I'm going to end this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing a very realistic look at how I style my hair throughout the course of a week. Be sure to comment if you would like me to continue this for other seasons. Thank you so, so much for watching, for your support, uh, for spending all of this time with me. I will see you in my next video. Cause it's midnight and the lights are bright We're searching for a little fun tonight It's midnight and the lights are bright mm.